Hey guys, welcome. My name is Fabio. I am a developer in MS. Um, and today the goal of this talk, one of our workshop, right, is to see uh, to talk about how you can integrate MS with your own protocol, right? How you can say off-chain verification, how you can monitor on-chain events with verification, how you can integrate the DNS with your front end to screen verification and to screen verification with your users' rights on your tab, right? Um, okay, so we have three communication happens all over the place. Right, we know that communication happens on Discord, on Twitter, on Discord, they're everywhere. And it's funny because we have three. Um, what happens is protocols expect users to go directly to their dApps on certain protocols to fetch information. Right? And funny enough, that's not how we do it in Web2. Right? For example, let's say I have a meeting ticket, it's not like in Google Calendar, pressing a five or monitoring all the events. Uh, Google Calendar send me an event, like a reminder send me to four. Like, hey, you have a meeting to meet us. Um, prepare. Or the same thing, thing for WhatsApp. Whenever I receive a call in WhatsApp, there's a push notification. So the service sends a push notification to the user with a two-action call. And so that to the call or I can reject the call. So web three. So let's say for an example, let's say I'm on Avid and I'm about to get into the data on Avid. How do I know I'm about to get into the data on Avid? Well, I have Monitoring like with my conditions constantly, or how about you know, about my 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 EMS domain about the fire? Well, let's constantly keep the rules for it. So like a uh, constant effort for the user to be monitoring um, the web to information, right? So, what is the solution? So, what you can ask you can ask you the communication layer for web three, right? So, the communication is open. Which means that any backend, any front end, any smart contract can send notifications to wallet addresses. So your communication is dynamic, which means that you can say anything you want. Two words. Um, you can say the YouTube video to wallet addresses, you can say the cloud proposal, you can say the notification whenever someone updates you on OpenSea. Um, you can say a song. So basically, we don't impose any restrictions for the type of communication sent to wallet addresses. Um, the communication way we are building at EKNS is multi chain. But even though the E for EKNS stands for Ethereum, we are going to be multi chain. As of now, we are in Ethereum. We're going to, we're going to build Polygon very soon. Later on, find the smart chain harmony across all your tools are from to the same thing, the same smart maps. Um, and also, all player worlds, they're not EVM. But also EVM and non EVM chains. The notifications are guessless. I can be guessless. So to simplify the transaction with the ID seven one two to send notifications. And the last part is the notifications are platform agnostic, which means that any crypto from them can uh, can fetch information from the our protocol. So like you need to use our mobile app or our Chrome extension or that to fetch the notifications. Any crypto front end can get those notifications and space their users on their tab. And we're going to demo this, explain this, um, how this uh, platform agnostic works, how can you display notifications to users in your in any tab actually. So, what are the applications for EKNS? Right? Um, one pretty um, useful is for DAOs. I think a lot of people here are part of multiple DAOs, and we get can get lost in Discord, in Discourse, on um, Twitter, whenever there's no proposed vote, right? Um, so what can happen for a DAO, let's say you swap DAO or other DAO, they can send a push notification to all its addresses, hey, hey, there's a new proposal. Um, we expired in seven days, please read the proposal and vote accordingly. And that's something we're working on is right from the push notification, you can read the proposal, and you're going to have three actions that you can vote on the proposal for, against, or abstain the proposal. Right from the notification. So, this is going to do also increase user engagement on DAOs, uh, to increase the quality of votes, right? So, people they get, get to the proposal beforehand, um, the quality of votes, uh, we, we hope to improve them. Um, for defining a lot of applications, right? When you're not getting the data now, it means you know before getting the data, no matter what, like, supposing money, whether a new or new farm is out there, or when you want to build a new farm. Whether uh, an API protocol uh, gets interested, or when you can start building a phone on the five protocols. For, for NFTs, um, let's say um, someone plays uh, a piece of your NFT, someone buys buy your NFT, well, get a notification by placing one of the interested in NFTs. 
Um, when you're part of uh, someone, you're part of other by NFT, or should someone help you to? Well, if you really want to do NFT, it would be nice for you to get notifications or can help you the first help you. Uh, for metaverse, let's say you're playing a game, and there are two users, and two users in the directory means ID voice addresses, so you can chat back and forth using the KNAS communication layer, there will be so sending back and forth messages between water services. So we're very fortunate to support, have a, a lot of people to the cover. We call them friends of KNS. Um, they give to us constant feedback so we can improve, improve the protocol and build this uh, chain agnostic open permissionless communication layer for Web3. Um, since we're in the hackathon, um, just let you guys know we have bounties. <laughs> Um, we have 40, uh, 40 dollar bounties for anyone who's building on top of PNS. Um, we have back in case, for testing days, uh, to interview you can ask in your project, it's apply for a bounty. Or, if you're interested in applying, using you can ask me in your project, but have no idea, please chat to us, we're here literally 24 hours. <laughs> uh, if you want to talk to 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 11 a.m., doesn't matter, there's always going to be someone here to help, like people telling <laughs> you, you know, at 5 a.m., and people talk to the at 5 a.m. So please talk to us and any question about it. about the protocol, please reach out to us. And also just a side note, we released our push grants program. So we have four million dollars for anyone who builds on top of KNS, wants to do tutorials or blogs <coughs> about KNS, please open the proposal. It's open and the community is not approved. Or the other the, the grants programs is transparent. That's the that's the info so that you get. <laughs> So I got a video just for people to see how the Christmas patches are. Uh, so. This video to show how much you are, but by any means you need to use our mobile app to get this notification, right? So any crypto phone app can set those notifications. Um, we just show it on mobile app because it's an example. Have you actually a mobile app for doing what you see for certificate? You can use our mobile app, but notifications are not tied to any DPNS uh, front end. Just make this sure. So how this protocol works on the technical level? So um, the protocol um, is made of three main components, right? So the first component is what we call EPNS Core. So EPNS Core is a smart contract that is on Ethereum. Um, that is used on the so one of the attacks. Whenever you want to send notifications uh, to all addresses, you must do something called you must create a channel. You must activate a certain protocol. And the analogy I always use is if you're on YouTube, right? So if you're on YouTube. Uh, you create a YouTube channel, and users who are interested in your protocol on your YouTube channel is subscribed to your YouTube channel to receive notifications. That is the same analogy. So, if you want users to receive notifications for yourself, for your DeFi app, or any type of marketplace platform, you create a channel, and users opt in to this channel. And the opt in to this channel, I mean, users don't pay to any fees at all. So, guess this the yeah, piece I want to and no money wasted. Not wasted, but no money. We follow for users to see notifications. Um, this is on Ethereum, so this is my contract responsible for activating uh, channels on that is on Ethereum. The last part, the second part, is our EPNS communicator layer, and the EPNS communicator layer is made of two parts. So the first part is the communicator SDK, so which allows sending off chain notifications um, gaslessly. And the second part for EPNS communicator are our set of smart contracts that are going to be everywhere, every chain, EVM, non EVM chain. That is going to allow any smart contract to call or the communicator smart contract to send notification. And third but not least, we have a peer to peer network of push nodes. There are vendors that are going to be there monitoring communications emitted from the EPNS communicator layers. 
whether they're off-chain or on-chain notifications, and they're going to index those notifications. So any crypto phone can, can simply set those notifications and spread those notifications in any way they want to. That's for the channel. Okay. Um, let me go here. Make sure it's okay, right? Yeah. So I'm on the staging app. Here. here. So I created one here, I pre-funded it. So that's so basically to go to our channel, I mean, that's the staging information production main channel that we have. So let's say um, I'm a user, I'm looking at this uh, as a user perspective. So let's say I want to get the swap notifications uh, for the swap feature. In opt-in, send transaction. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to receive notifications for you, swap. I mean, <laughs> off of work, let's say. Okay, let's see what it's off of work. Um, that's how Yam defined my desk snapshot to swap of the decentralized within the partnership. Can I ask a question? Can I ask a question? Sorry? Can I ask a question? Um, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. But does the signature go? Is it a centralized registry somewhere or it goes to the nodes? When, when I say when I subscribe, when I've been in one of these channels? Yes, we, we go for our future peer network of nodes. Mm -hmm. So we are their permissionless, we are working on uh, decentralizing those nodes. And yes, you understand the network, yeah. Okay. Thank you, our future peer network. Yeah, we have some good news person about this. Good. Um, yeah, so let's create a channel. So developer, go here and create a channel. Um, yeah, that just reminds me of this. Um, yeah, let's come here. I need an image for my channel. So I gotta see this image, right? Um, I need to stake you to die to activate myself as a channel. Continue. Let's create a channel of leave and to return. Um, this stuff now we don't need to fill it because this will run with you when you go with the auto check. But as of now, no, but soon, yes. Um, let's create that. This is a channel for if Amster communication. Our call to action link is on our channel list here. You see that a lot of channels, so call to action for our channel list. If you want to get more information about our channel, you can go to our website here or the protocol or anything. If Amsterdam is of fixed source here, control C, just call me C. Look, if they go to my test pass, um, let's confirm. Transfer on my fifth die. Again, once it's approved, I just sign it. I approve myself as a channel on this web tree called the application layer. Oh, yes. So I activated myself in protocol, so whoever subscribes to this channel are going to receive those notifications. So let's send notifications to whoever is subscribed to this channel. Um, I have a preloaded channel here that I have another wallet that's already subscribed to this channel. Um, this one here is the channel. Yeah. So let's send notifications. So as a creator of a channel, that's um, the, the web page I'm doing. Okay, so okay, that's a notification to whoever is subscribed to this channel. So we have three types of notifications, right? So the first one is the broadcast notifications, the notification which means that anyone who is subscribed to this channel, they're going to receive the notification. The second one is a target notification, that is you can specify a particular like hey, send a notification to this part of this. The third one is a subset of notifications. We've got an array of wallet addresses. The notifications are going to be sent to those addresses. So, in this example, we're going to do just a broadcast notification. And so, I have a notification which is hello, Amsterdam. Hey there. 
Right. So and as I said, the notifications can be anything. So if I'm gonna come here, let's have song, and I saw here the link, some notifications, a signage transaction. That's it. Notification was sent. So if I come here to my inbox, since I'm subscribed to my own channel, I receive the notifications. Okay, right here. That notification I received. Please refresh here. That's not here. But the idea is to click here, I'm gonna go to the call to action link, and we like the call to action link can be, for example, a proposal. So user receives a notification, you click on the notification, you're redirected to the snapshot or you swap the governance so that you can answer a good question there. Or if you're okay, you want to click on the notification, you go directly to the Aussie or compound or whatever to put in more collateral. Let's go to our second demo, which is the front end SDK. So, this is one part of um, I think is very important, which is the set before was reinforced and crypto front end SDK notification. So, the demo that I have here, so I have four to swap the uh, front end, and we have a front end SDK. So, the front end SDK we have a React component that is this document. Right? So, it's, it says that I have six notifications here. But click here, all the notifications are what you do. The, 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 the notification was sent here. See, when it's blue here, you need to call to action. So, all the notifications that are, this wallet has ever received is going to be right on Uniswap or whatever app you want to display for. <coughs> right? But we also have one feature that I didn't have time to play here is the users don't need to go to our EKNS tab to subscribe to channels. We have another React component that's like, hey, you want to, like, maybe if you're Uniswap and or I'm using Uniswap or whatever, and you tap, I'm going to, like, Right from your that there is like, hey, what you get good fight for any event of on this protocol? The user click opt in, send a transaction. That's it. The user never ever give your tap to receive notifications or to opt in to receive notifications. Mm -hmm. I think that's uh, powerful actually. So make the trend like everything very seamlessly seamlessly to users. So I think that's a normal free thing. Uh, Last but not least, just a back end SDK. Uh, as I said before, the notifications they can be sent by any logic. Uh, but I said that I mean that we don't impose any restrictions by how the notifications or how the notification was sent. So just do like a very simple uh, node, like cron job. Basically, what it's doing, I mean, I like private keys. <laughs> Everything's hard to hear, but the idea is um, I'm just doing like a pretty simple call this. That is calling from our cap to get the Bitcoin price and create some risk and same notification like, hey, that's the summary of the movement of Bitcoin the last 24 hours, last week, or last month. So, I mean, so two different SDKs. SDK one, I mean, this is probably my private key, I'm sure my messages and just all my funds. <laughs> the <laughs> SDK is called support. My again, as a figure, just for the SDK, you just need two parameters, which is the private key, the one who created the the, the channel and the channel water service that you're going to receive as soon as you activate yourself in the protocol after sticking to that. And last but not least, let's go here as a me. You send the location, right? The payload, the payload can be anything, the message can be anything, a few, few, few creative, whatever you want to do. I mean, I'm just going to be sending from the spamming payload. Just like the network, but I'm saying the same three notification here. Uh, if I go back to the use of that, if I refresh here, I should see three things here. All four of the notifications which are here. So you see, like the back end is the case, send notification to the network. The push, the push nodes, they, they got the, the push nodes, they got the notification. They, they push nodes are listening to the NS user layer, got the, the, the event, they index the communication. There's no way that any person, any can tap into the security network, network of push nodes to get notification with this example you just did it and they see notification that I sent. See, so those are these was the last notification I sent from the tab, and these are the notifications I sent using that. Okay. Yeah, that's it what I have for today. One thing I want to know um, to, 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 to say um, we are very excellent score. The entire community, the, the team is here, so we have office hours on this floor like every week. 
prefer to talk with, reach out to us, give us feedback, please feel free to reach out to us. Um, the place we come here, if you want to ask questions, you can ask questions. If you want to meet us downstairs, you can talk to us or whatever, feel free to do so. That's it, guys. So on the data, is it encrypted? We can send encrypted notification as well. Okay, yeah. The private group can send notification or the secret notification can only group and see the notification. We can send only group the notification and also encrypted. Okay, and it's encrypted with uh, with the private key you send? Yeah. Oh, the public. Oh, you, yeah, okay. It's so encrypted. So anyone can decrypt it if they have the public key. No, so you think they'll get to the public key? Yeah. Anyone who has the private key. And my other question is, um, can we build a peer-to-peer messaging app on top of EPNS, or would you have limitation in terms of storage? If I want to rebuild WhatsApp on EPNS, what are the limitations today to, to do so? Uh, there are any real free to build anything on top of it. So all we, like, what we do, we are we're literally, like, um, uh, any infrastructure project, we are building it. Um, we're monitoring notification on chain or off chain, we're investing it. And what you're doing with notifications, it's all up to you. Right. Um, yeah, so we have a, it's like a graph, we have a bridge to network of nodes. We're going to have a bridge to network of nodes that we're not working on. Um, there's going to be next notifications, and uh, yeah, and if you want to build anything on top of it, you're all the welcome. Good. Uh, I have another question about privacy. Mm -hmm. And uh, are the lists of the uh, all the subscribers of a given channel public or they are private? That's a good question. Do you know? I'm enforcing it. <laughs> 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 so yeah, so uh, these are like the wallet address. Like, it's... all right. I, I love this Q and A. <laughs> so yeah, these, these are uh, these are the wallet addresses that are giving their uh, opt-in or intent. So uh, of course, you know uh, that's something which is public. That you do know that this wallet address has opted into uh, this channel. One of the reason is that let's say if you're a smart contract, then you need to send the notification out. So you have to check if the user is subscribed or not. That's how you prevent spam. Uh, but yeah, they are public. Okay, thank you. Awesome. <laughs> that's, that's what would like a type of notification. So, so, sorry? Like, how do you integrate when like, sending notifications on the type of device? Yes, so we have a component on the push notes and the push notes, what does it like for notification? So, we have a component, uh, we have a database where we're trying to reflect the code so it's modular, it's not, uh, not a part of the test. But the thing is, um, you can send like uh, we can use Firebase send notifications. So when you run uh, a push node, um, I mean, you can build it yourself as well. So if you just tap into the network and like, oh, there's a new network, there's a new um, communication for project address that I'm interested in. So I can just push this to Firebase or anything you want to send a notification to the wallet app. Um, yeah, I have a mobile app here for so NSM stages. So all the notifications that I send on this network. They're being pushed. I mean, right. They're being pushed to my to my, my app. Um, yeah, but this uh, that this is part of push notes. What part of the bridge? Um, You're bridging essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do the bridge from web three to web two. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. no, we don't need to. I mean, it because I mean, it's almost the same way. So my mobile app. That's what. You Um, is it feasible to send to push notifications based on events that happen in the smart contract? Yes, yeah, of course. Um, yeah, um, yeah. but some place uh, to be where yes, we have a um, we can create our own uh, bot for the, the demo that I did here. I think uh, I was getting information from the market cat, but you can monitor monitor on chain events and um. 
send notifications based on on-chain events, and, and then we, also uh, select which users to notify. Or yes, okay. yeah. So we have three types of notification. The first one is a broadcast notification, so it's sent to everyone. The second one is target, which means you can just like one send notification just for the, just for these wallet address. And the third one is our subset of notifications. So we have like all three flavors to everyone, to one wallet, or like a subset, subset of wallet. Thank you. Please. Uh, I want to know the. Oh, thank you. Uh, I want to know about the price for the service. I know I maybe arrived just a minute after, so maybe I missed it. I saw that we need to stake like fifty die, and uh, stake means that we also get that back. How how does it work? And is that the price per not per push notification? Yeah, I, I haven't the answer for this, but I would love to for horse transfer this because it has a clear vision for us. <laughs> I I think you and I will just talk. <laughs> yes. yeah, we go for <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah, so the price which you saw, that's like the activation price. A part of it, like in 50 die, it goes to a P pool. Uh, but uh the rest of it you can of course return back. So the idea is uh, uh to punish the user or channel just a little bit, but not the entire die, and to keep the die in state so that in case they do something wrong, we are able to penalize them as and when the time comes. Uh, but yeah, you can basically get back the die. So that was your first question. The second question was, uh, what is the charge for the service? So right now, of course, it's completely free. Uh, we are plan is to keep it free for like a year or two years or uh, till whatever time it takes to get the network effect. But once that happens, uh, there will be a fee that will be charged. Uh, that will be a monthly or a yearly fee. And again, it will happen through the protocol. It will flow uh, through the protocol. Uh, so it's like a circular economy, uh, which we'll have, uh, at that point, die will be replaced by push tokens. Uh, but yeah, it's something that will come later on once the entire network effect is in. And of course, it will be, uh, around 50 to 100 dollars is what we are going to propose to the committee, but eventually they decide. Okay. Have you thought about putting the, the, the stake die into a, uh, an interest bearing like, yes. that so you, it's yes. more sustainable. Yes. Why? Yes. So the, 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 the version zero, uh, which was just for Ethereum, the plan was that this is state die. It will not even be 50. It can be any number. And the state die, uh, uh, goes into our way. It starts generating interest and the people who opt in, they are able to get their interest out. But when we went multi chain, we had to basically balance that out because we will not be able to do that on Polygon or anyone, uh, anywhere else. Uh, so yeah. That that was the initial plan. So, an awesome, awesome idea. <laughs> Thank you. So yeah, no more. Yeah, please go ahead. Just one last question yeah, about please. the node. Uh, what is the requirement to run a node? If like next week I want to to run a push node, yeah. is is it possible? Or how? What would be the requirement in terms of hardware? Sure. And What's the plan on centralizing the solution? So, as of now, we have one node that is run by us. Um, we have a, a lot of people working on centralization of this. And um, so, yeah, probably I can give a better answer in a couple of months. Okay. Uh, but yeah, the nodes are going to be distributed. distributed and um, we're working on the tokenomics for make people incentive, create incentives for people to run this uh, communication layer for Web3. And but yeah, the idea is for you're going to be get incentivized to run this uh, Web three communication layer, and yeah, to help like uh, distribute this communication layer that's across chain open, and chain agnostic, and uh, yeah. But we have we're working on tokenomics and the entire engineering team working on the centralization of these push nodes. That's cool. Thank you. So yeah, guys, if uh, we're downstairs. Ten four hours a day, please reach out to us, ask me the question you want. Thank you so much. <laughs>